Cancer is a disease that touches just about everyone. According to the American Cancer Society, more than 585,000 people are expected to die from the disease this year. This leads to thousands of people across the U.S. to participate in the Relay for Life to help find a cure. And this week's Making a Difference, I discover how some locals are not only raising awareness, but they're also helping in the healing process. It is the second most common cause of death in the United States. It can affect anyone at any age. Everybody has been touched in this small town, either through themselves, a family member, a friend, or a co-worker. The American Cancer Society estimates around 1.6 million people will be diagnosed with cancer this year. And besides the physical challenges, emotionally, the news from a doctor saying you have cancer has the ability to shatter the worlds of more than just the person with the disease. And you know, dealing with so many of the different fallouts um, from financial issues to role responsibilities and changes in the home and to emotional struggles and concerns and worries of the future. Allison Stockley is the manager of the Healing Patch, a volunteer-based support program through the Home Nursing Agency. She works closely with families who have experienced a significant death in the family. Children, in particular, she says, can have a difficult time in grieving. Issues with going to bed at night, or maybe they're sleeping with mom because they don't feel safe or feel safe. Maybe they're having issues going to school. For some, showing off their artistic side, such as drawing and coloring, Stockley says, is a great coping mechanism. And at this age, you don't always want to talk about things, so sometimes it's just a good outlet, even if you're not the best like me. But I mean, it's something just to get your, like, let your hands do the talking, and you don't have to talk about it, it's just your way of letting it out. These Bishop McCourt teens are decorating luminaria bags for this year's Greater Johnstown Relay for Life. Nurse and chairperson for the relay, Marlene Singer, so she came up with the idea to get our local youth more involved. When people order one, sometimes online, um, for their loved one, they don't know what happens. And so these students are here and they're, they're coloring and decorating bags that will be personalized to anyone. Any child or teen interested in coloring bags for the luminary ceremony can do so for free at the Learning Lamp on Bedford Street. And the Greater Johnstown Relay for Life will be held Saturday, June 14th at 10 a.m. at the Johnstown Trojan Stadium. And if you know of someone, a group, or organization that is making a difference where you live, let me know. You can email me, lindsay.ward at wjactv.com.